before we get to this unboxing, I wanted to show this neat uh, camera tripod uh, thing that I got in the mail the other day. Got it off Amazon. I loved it because it was blue and it matches the room and everything in here. I've never seen a blue one. Here's the old one I was using. And then the little thing goes up and you put the cell phone in that and it holds your cell phone and it's got a tripod adapter there. So that's pretty neat. Alright, let's open this up. Alright, so you guys know I love having custom stuff made. And I have had this mouse pad I commissioned from an artist on Etsy with my artwork of Scary Fear that's the cover of a fictional metal album cover that I've made. So hopefully this turned out as nice as it looked in the uh, preview photos. That's not bad. This is the second time I've had artwork of Scary Fear printed for me, and I'm noticing a problem that I don't know why my art is really bright and vibrant on screen on the monitors, but in real life it comes out faded, except for the art that I did for the Jeep. They did that right. But that's different. That was a direct print. This is a process called sublimation, where they print the art in mirror image, reverse, and then it's kind of like an iron-on and it gets pressed onto an existing surface. So that might be why there's some color loss. It's, I mean, it should have been brighter than that. I'm gonna keep it. I mean, I'm still happy with it, but it's... I am slightly disappointed. Let me show you my coffee mug. Alright, so here is the comparison. The original, and now I'm gonna put on top my artwork. And you can see what a difference, how much more vibrant my art is. Now, here is the coffee mug. Let me bring you guys down. Okay, see the wings are really dark. And they don't have all the bright color. The edge of his feathers aren't as bright greeny and bluey as they should be. He looks rather faded. I like this mug. I love the blue and the handle and and the blue on the inside. Blue handle. Yeah, but the lettering came out really faded and weak. There should be bright, beautiful lightning inside. And this one is he's so dark there. Why is he so dark? Do uh so and here is the uh digital version of this one. So yeah, not bad, but I I it's not something I would sell and make a product out of. It just doesn't it doesn't look right. And I'm just starting to where I made these are two different companies. I bought this one last year. And this one I, of course, just now got it. Oh, look at this light effect. This should... That glow effect, even though it's on a textured mouse pad surface, should be vibrant and amazing. Okay, here is the generic mouse pad that Chris uses. Look at that. I don't know why that looks so bright and nice. I don't know what the original digital print looks like. It's supposed to be some green smoke. Well, let's put them like this so that they'll fit. Okay, now we got both of them in frame. And looking at them in real life, I don't think... Maybe it's faded too. I'm trying. I have no idea what this looked like originally on a monitor, but I think it's sharper and more vibrant than this one is. So, so what can I say about this? Well, I'm, I'm disappointed. Am I doing something wrong? Is there something in my artwork that when it translates into a print, it looks bad? I don't think so because the prints for my. 
my card. I have last year's Christmas card. Okay, this is last year's Christmas card. This looks like it jumped right out of my computer monitor. It's beautiful. It's bright. It's vibrant. Granted, it's on a glossy surface. But I have also had my cards printed on matte surfaces. And they look really nice that way, too. Again, now I'm thinking maybe it's the texture of the mouse pad, but then... This is a glossy surface. Why is this one faded and terrible? And then, of course, the hood of my Jeep is vibrant and beautiful and gorgeous. I'll show a video of that in my dark garage pretty soon, but... Here we are inside my garage looking at the hood of my Jeep. Sorry it's so dark. I only have an overhead light. But uh, even in this bad lighting, I think you can see how... Look at how nice that is. If it weren't for that white light dot right there, you wouldn't know. Look at that lightning. You would not know that this isn't on isn't a digital art on a monitor on a computer somewhere. And check out the lettering. This is what I'm talking about that the other one should have had you know, little lightning bolts in it and the texture. That the F is one of my favorites because it's got the most lightning in it. And the gorgeous glow. And my Jeep is dirty. I actually haven't driven in a quite a long time so it's dusty in here. And it still looks awesome. So I don't know what it is about these sublimation print things that just don't work. Okay, so you see that that hood actually looks better in real life than it looks on camera, be it a photo or a video. So, no, I don't, I don't think it's me. I don't think it's my art. It's something about this cheaper sublimation process that isn't working because the other prints are direct prints. I think it has to do with that. So I guess I'll never have a nice coffee mug or mouse pad or anything that, that uses the sublimation printing because the colors and the inks get lost in the transfer. I don't think I could change the colors so that when they get printed they would look right. If there's any artist watching that has any advice, please let me know as I would like to have nicely printed products of my guys. So, uh, it's nice, it's not horrible, but it could be so much better, so I am disappointed. I'm going to keep it. Alright, so here it is on my desk. And I might say it's, uh, it doesn't look so bad now. Maybe in time I can come to accept its flaws and imperfections the way I did with the, uh, coffee mug over here and uh, the camera is actually making it look nicer under this particular light it looks better on my phone than it does in real life when I look at it and he's mostly gonna be covered up anyways with that mouse right there will I make another one of these ah uh, possibly uh, I still want to replace this one the macaw that I've had for over a decade. Um, it's also printed on mouse pad material. By the way, I think the material is very nice on this. It's got a good grippy pad on the back and it's soft and it feels good. It had a weird smell when I first got it, but I think that's just from the printing and in time the smell should go away, so I'm not really worried about that. And uh, hopefully I can make something for the small one there. And I'm really happy with how my room is coming along. All the blues and whites just match really beautifully. Eventually I hope to do some hand-drawn art on the wall there of Scary Fear and draw other stuff on the rest of the walls. Not sure what just yet. So anyways, there you go. There's the review and unboxing hope you guys enjoyed that Des signing off